before this video starts, I do just want to mention that I'm currently hosting a giveaway for Christmas. So I'm going to be giving away this skin you can see on the screen right now. This is a Wildcat bundle. I think it's like an $150 skin. I'm giving it away for completely free. All you have to do is go into the description of this video. There will be some very simple rules that you need to follow to enter. I'm pretty sure it's just liking the video, subscribing, joining my Discord server, and then there will be a link to my Twitter. You will have to actually head over to my Twitter and follow some more rules. And then simply once you've done all that, comment done on this video, and you then will be entered. Good luck, everyone. Yo, guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can improve twice as fast on keyboard and mouse as a beginner. You know, Christmas is literally tomorrow. As I'm recording this video, it's Christmas Eve. Christmas is tomorrow. And when you're actually watching this video, Christmas may have already passed. I'm sure a lot of you guys are either getting or have already got keyboards, mice, a new PC maybe for Christmas. And you're switching over to keyboard and mouse right now. And you're probably going to need this video. So, you know, that's what I'm here to do to help you out. If I help you out in any way with this video, the least you can do for me is drop a like, hit that thumbs up button for me, really does help out the channel. It literally takes two seconds, pushes the video out to further people. It just means the world to me. You can also go the extra mile and subscribe with post notifications turned on, therefore you never miss an upload just like this. Remember code FETCH in the Fortnite Am Shop if you want to support me this Christmas. And without further ado, let's get straight into this. So getting straight into this, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you guys the basics, the do's and don'ts when switching to keyboard and mouse and looking to improve. First of all, now this may cost some money, but I'd honestly try and make sure you have at very least both a mechanical keyboard and gaming mouse with two side buttons before you even think to start improving. As a little office mouse and membrane keyboard with cheap plastic switches, it won't cut it and you're only limiting yourself this way. Again, I know it costs money and that may be an issue for some of you, but you know, Christmas is literally tomorrow by the time you're watching this it's most likely already been and I'm sure many of you have got Christmas money lying around which you can invest into this it will be the best decision you make and it can be any mouse any keyboard just ensure the keyboard you're looking for has mechanical switches and the mouse you get has two sidebands mechanical switches will make your life a whole lot easier and put you in the line of 90% of your competitors when playing Fortnite and two sidebands will work almost as additional keybinds allowing for easier building and the use of optimal keybinds I'll talk a little bit more about that later in this video and moving on now that we have that out of the way what I honestly think is the best way to improve outside of physical factors it is just to be easy on yourself most of you are probably just switching now to keyboard and mouse a whole new fresh input it's going to be tricky it's going to be hard and why is that it's because you don't yet have the practice you can't switch to keyboard and mouse and be cracked out of your mind after just a few days or even a few weeks of course you'll want to see improvement but that's about it improvement comes with time and practice although it will never make perfect it always makes makes progress and the more and more you play work on areas you're not so good at as frustrating as it may be at times I can assure you you'll be improving it's all about patience and mentality you know I've said it's going to be frustrating you're going to get annoyed if you are to keep dying and dying most games but as long as you are easy on yourself you learn to come to terms with the fact it's completely natural to both play and feel this way trust me when I say this you start to have more fun with it and that right there is when you begin to see yourself truly getting to where you want to be and another thing you can do as well to help with this is completely cut out any shortcuts within your environment what I mean by this is I'm sure if you're making that switch to keyboard and mouse you're most likely coming from using a controller in which you was probably great with and the fact you are now potentially playing bad on a whole new input is going to be disheartening and it's going to make you want to take the easier road out give up and just switch back to controller that right there that would be a shortcut it's just how humans work you know we are so wired to what becomes our natural surroundings and habits we hate discomfort and guess what this is going to make you feel uncomfortable you'll soon enough try and go back to your old ways just stop the grind right there right then and to prevent that what I recommend you do literally throw away your controller I mean that get rid of it don't just have it laying around there on your desk as a temptation to go back and forth will be too hard to resist trust me the less indecisive you are the quicker you'll learn get rid of that controller make it your only option to use keyboard and mouse like literally limit yourself and now swiftly moving on to what I think is tip number three or four I haven't really been uh, counting here but what I'm actually going to talk about now it does in fact relate back now to the tip I gave it the start of the video and that is going to be to ensure you have both the perfect sensitivity and keybinds. Now I know what you're thinking, how do I find my perfect sensitivity? Don't worry, I actually have made a full video about this not too long ago, I'll be sure to link that down below so you can just check that out as I really don't think it's worth to mention it all here in this video, you know I'm trying to keep this quite short. The same actually goes for keybinds, again this is something I have indeed made a full video about, I've already spoke about optimal keybinds, everything you need to know about them, why they're so important to your progression. I also made a video where I actually shown the 
best season five Fortnite settings. And in that video, I leaked my own keybinds of what have made me so good at the game. And yeah, just another thing you would have to go out your way and watch yourself because keybinds and having a perfect sensitivity is everything you want to improving on keyboard and mouse. If you can't crack that, you'll just never get any better. So again, link will be in the description. Go and watch those videos after this. And now finally, what I think is the last, and I think the fifth tip, I'm kind of going to give in this video, it's like a group of tips, but it's going to be just to play the game. Now you want to schedule, literally like make a schedule, like a plan, write in your notepad, anything like that. I've mentioned it in probably every video I've talked about on how to get better at Fortnite. You want a little schedule, you want to plan every single day, you want to have a warm up course, you want to have a warm up routine. You want to be making the most out of the hours you can play this game. Let's say you can only play three hours a day, maybe four hours a day, maybe even less than that. Let's say you can only play two hours a day. You need to make the most out of those two hours. Now that is something I can't do for you. I can't even help you with that. It's what you need to do yourself. This is all subjective. It's based on you as a person. Find what works best. Make sure you're getting on the game. You're practicing. You're not just going straight into an arena game or a public game. You're getting on. You're practicing. You're warming up. You're working on the areas you're not so good at. And then you're going into real games, maybe pubs. And in terms, I don't even recommend you play pubs. Even if you're dying in arena, you don't think you're good enough for it. Maybe you're scared of competitive. You're scared of arena. Just play it anyway. Dying and playing against better players and it's going to make you better in the long run. Ultimately, you will improve doing this. Even if you're dying of spawn every game, you're learning that way you can go back in your VODs, you can go back in your replays, you can look at this, you can learn the reason you died and next game improve that and work on it. And of course it's not all just about arena either, try and make the most out of scrims, tournaments, whatever that may be, just make the most out of competitive, it'll make you the best at the game fast and to be honest if you're one of those people who have just switched to keyboard and mouse, you probably just want to sit in creative right because probably your biggest issue I don't think is your aim, I know your aim could be a factor to it but it's probably your building right, mechanics are a great part of the game and one of your core mechanics is building and yeah it's a huge part of the game if you can't build very well you haven't built your muscle memory yet just sit in creative a lot just the more you're in creative for hours a day you're going to get better and eventually you'll be able to do your 90s you'll have them cracked you'll be able to box do this and that and you can then translate that into a normal game you build that muscle memory and you'll improve that way now honestly that kind of wraps up the video here I did actually make another video I think last month about how you can actually improve within Fortnite I think it was for last season but I'll link that down below as well that's another one you want to watch because I went more in depth on how you can actually make a schedule in that video. It's really not worth me mentioning it here when I've already mentioned it in other videos, but it's also very subjective. So you can kind of just go off and do it yourself. But trust me, all the pros are doing it. It's really worth it and it'll help you improve. There really isn't much magic to improving. It's just about putting in the time, putting in the practice. You know, of course, all the other things I've mentioned in this video, they do take part in that. They do factor. Once you've done everything in this video, it's just about putting in the time. And yeah, with that being said, that's all I have for this video. All the relevant links will be down below. You probably have a few videos you want to go and watch on my channel. I've covered a ton of things. I don't want to keep repeating myself, so I wanted to keep this video more fresh, speak about some things I have not yet covered, and yeah, hopefully you can appreciate that. If this video did help in any way, shape, or form, the least you can do for me is drop a like, subscribe, comment some feedback down below, let me know what you think. Hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been a way fetch, and yeah, peace.